Our first guest is an author, speaker, and entrepreneur. She is a proud Garifuna Afro-Latina immigrant from Honduras, raised in the South Bronx, who spent over 15 years working professionally as a champion for diversity and inclusion. She is an award-winning author of two books, Bad Hair Does Not Exist, uh, Pelo Malo No Existe, and My Hair Comes With Me, shifting the paradigm of what success looks like. But most recently, she has been appointed executive director of the Bronx Tourism Council, to which she will now have the opportunity to elevate the borough's rich history, its institutions, and cultural diversity on a local to international level. Please help me congratulate and welcome back to the show, author, speaker, entrepreneur, and dear friend, but most importantly, the new Bronx Tourism Council Executive Director, Sulma Arsu Brown. How you doing, Rina? Bravo! <laughs> That's a lot. You did good. That's a lot of titles. It is a lot of titles, <laughs> but you know, even mm -hmm. if some of our viewers may be familiar with you, yeah. I think it's important for them to know every aspect of mm -hmm. what you're bringing sure. to this new role. Indeed. Uh, listen, I um, I think that I was born and raised for this role. I have loved the Bronx since I got here on Pan Am Airlines, and I'm dating myself years ago. <laughs> but from advocating, I started my advocacy really early, living on Manitha Street in Hunts Point, where the, where the park across the street from me was abandoned, syringes all over the place. I organized the kids in my community and, the, and my cousins to at least help clean a certain part just so we can play. Right. Right. So I've been doing this work. It's been in my blood and I'm so grateful to be appointed by Bronx Borough President Vanessa L. Gibson as the new executive director of the Bronx Tourism Council. And as soon as I sat on that chair on January 4th, the vision came to see the Bronx become a global destination. You sure have hit the ground running. <laughs> I've been watching and observing. I mean, the website is transformed already. Yes, it is. Uh, and obviously you guys have been uh, collaborating already with uh, whatever institutions and, and or businesses that you've already kind of had a relationship with, but it looks like there's these other layers or expansions that are occurring that um, are really, I'm really interested to see how it all evolves. Yeah, I was super excited. I, I called my, I had to set the foundation with an incredible team, Veronica and Julius, and together we've been revamping the website. We wanted to make sure that it was extremely user friendly so uh, residents of the Bronx and tourists are alike can figure out what to do, what exciting things are happening in the Bronx. So the colors are the Bronx colors, not to be confused for the Mets, they're the Bronx colors. Right, okay? right, right, the, <laughs> the in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, uh, we know that the four anchor institutions are like Little Italy, Yankee Stadium, Bronx Zoo, Botanical Gardens, and all of those combined prove to us that people do want to come to the Bronx despite the narrative that's set out there about the Bronx. We have almost 10 million people coming on a annual basis and we only have 1.4 million Bronx residents. So what we want to do at the Bronx Tourism uh, is to make sure that this tourist revenue gets spread throughout the Bronx and other cultural corridors so that our small businesses can um, it can, can become big businesses, right? right? And this is what we're going to do through tourism. Build the tourism economy, create jobs, create experiences. Did you know, Rena, that the Bronx is home to 12 colleges and universities, making it a college town, making it a young town? So we have to provide opportunities to maintain the young brains that are here that are going to help us take this borough to the next level, and tourism is one aspect of that. That is so awesome. That's a great observation, and thank you for sharing it for with sure. our viewers. Uh, because the, the the truth is, is like I was looking at everything you've done mm -hmm. so far. <laughs> and I'm like you just started in January, and it's just already amplified in a mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. that is user friendly, as yep. you mentioned, right? Mm -hmm. um, and while you did name the major institutions that are most uh, recognized uh, in the Bronx, I noticed there's a lot of small businesses, a lot of smaller institutions, mm -hmm. and a lot of hidden gems. Absolutely. And it that's really where it starts, is mm -hmm. kind of showing like what you may not know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'll give you one really quickly. A hidden gem, the South Bronx. Hip-hop, a global destination. We've never had uh, a hip-hop 
trolley tour, for example, and we are now in partnership with Grandmaster Flash, uh, the father of the scratch theory. We, uh, he will be curating the first ever Birth of a Culture Hip Hop trolley tour to tell the real authentic story of hip hop from the people that were uh, instrumental in making this happen and making it pop. We're also in partnership with the Universal Hip Hop Museum coming soon, so we look to make that the final destination of the Hip Hop Trolley Tour, which we uh, plan to launch in August. But we want to make sure that the Bronx residents know that the first people on that tour will be the Bronx residents because they deserve to get first dibs in everything that we do. We also have Bronx Week coming up May 8th through May 21st, so if there are any organizations out there that are uh, having experiences, events, activations, that not only are they tourist worthy, but you want to make sure that the community knows the hidden gems that you mentioned. Please make sure that you um, connect with us at ilovethebronx.com and let us know how we can assist in amplifying your experiences. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited it's just be listening fun. to it's you. Be fun. I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. <laughs> I can tell, I can tell, I can tell. And, mm -hmm. and because you mentioned Bronx mm -hmm. Week, and mm -hmm. I know that the Bronx Bowl mm -hmm. is also part of Bronx Week, I, I know that there's a new award category oh, that's yeah. been implemented. And I know this isn't necessarily your department, but I know you're oh, also heavily involved. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you share with our viewers? Because I think it's important that we amplify this wonderful opportunity for any educators. Uh, it is so important. Actually, uh, I was part of, of, of that uh, cycle of ideas and we wanted to make sure that the Bronx community got the opportunity to choose uh, to choose someone in the field of education to go on the Bronx Walk of Fame and also be honored at the Black Tie Bronx Ball Star Studded event. Yes, Bronx, we have a Bronx Ball, okay? <laughs> Yeah, it's quite I have to fabulous. Come, I have to come again to talk a little bit more about that and to give more information. But again, visit ilovethebronx.com. Click on, uh, on, on the homepage and learn more. And let us know why this educator is your favorite and the impact that they've made in the school community. So we're super psyched that we're going to be able to give this honor. So you're saying mm -hmm. they can vote on the website? Uh, no, they can nominate, nominate they on, can the can website, on, on the website, on that website, particular website. On that particular website. You could even uh, do it via writing or also share with us a short video about why you think this educator should be on the Bronx Walk of Fame. That's amazing. I I think it's so so Isn't it, important? Uh, it is, important Isn't it because, important because you know there are heroes the educators mm -hmm. are the ones that mm -hmm. are really mm -hmm. genuinely intentionally passing it forward yeah yeah, yeah. behind a neil degraff uh, tyson there was a bronx educator behind arita moreno bronx educator behind fat joe bronx educator and uh we don't do enough for our educators and this is again like i've been saying um a lot of times everything that we're doing at the bronx tourism i, I really personalize it because it is a love letter to my community saying thank you oh, thank you for beautiful. for being you for staying authentic for being the bomb.com for being the last borough to get gentrified because you fought right? <laughs> for being for being the house of the global phenomena hip-hop because the Bronx makes it happen like everything about this borough is so dope but we need to own our narrative, and through the Bronx tourism, we will. Yeah, and of mm -hmm. course, honoring mm -hmm. the diversity as well. Now, before yes. we go, we must mention this mm -hmm. new spot that you also have on 1010 Wins. Oh, yeah. Bronx Beats. Yes. What? So this is this is really nice too. We are uh, the Bronx Tourism in partnership with uh, the Bronx Borough President. We have a 30 second spot during prime time on 1010 Wins where we get to talk about attractions. Uh, uh, cultural institutions and things to come do in the Bronx. So as you send us your events, eventually your, we can talk about your spot on that. But wait, there's more. Oh. So the New York... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's like, you know, why rest? Right, you know? Right, right. No, 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 no rest for the weary. <laughs> Uh, the, the Yankee Stadium is also working with us because uh, they would like these ads to be visual so that they can put on the Jumbotron during games. And we are going to be partnering with Bronx Creative Talent right here. For example, Amaudis of the Bronx Native. Uh, I look to get to all of you soon, mm -hmm. but he will be doing the, the, the first couple of videos uh, for the Jumbotron. Right. We got to keep the money circulating in the community because we have the talent to make things happen because we've proven that already. 
you're absolutely right. And mm -hmm. plus, you know, he also represents the next generation. He and, is. and there's a movement going mm -hmm. on with the whole Bronx Native and everybody yeah, on that yeah. avenue, on that mm -hmm. corridor right there. Exactly. Yeah. Ya, ya tu sabe. Yeah. I look young, guys, but yo estoy vieja. So we got to give it to the next generation. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know, I know, I know, but you already know. <laughs> no, not me. I live in denial. I don't know what she's talking about. I'm done with Amores. <laughs> All right, me too. <laughs> No, but uh, this is great. It mm -hmm. is great. And thank mm -hmm. you so much for bringing it here. And congratulations to you, you and Mana. You know, I'm so proud of you on a personal level. Uh, thank and, you. And, uh, yeah, y seguimos mm -hmm. pa'lante. Yeah, seguimos pa'lante. And one more thing, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, please, at bronxtourism.com, at bronxtourism.com. On Instagram, your followings mean everything. Trust me, it means everything. So thank you so much. Wepa. All right, Bye everyone, <laughs> Sunma Supra, Bronx Tourism Council Executive Director. Once again, for more on Bronx Tourism, you can visit ilovethebronx.com and follow them on Instagram at Bronx Tourism, right? Yeah. At Bronx Tourism. All right, you guys stay tuned because there's more open after this.